Friday. It's Friday, y'all, and I'm really excited to introduce you to our next guest. She's an actress, a comedian, who not only brings the laughs, but also is fearless enough to share her truth. Please welcome ATL's own Kiana Dancy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi, my friend. Hey, sis. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. You look gorgeous. Oh, so do you. Thank you. Um, I'm happy to be in your presence, and you just released your book. Tell everybody buddy, a little bit about it. So it's called Bye Bye Bags, Laughing to Lighten the Low, where I discuss healing myself whole through laughter. Mm -hmm. Listen, I went through a thing. You know, we all went through a thing. Yeah. But through the pandemic, I took the time to really work on my mental health, as I heard you and Jamie talking about. Mm -hmm. And I believe that all of us should. I got the bags under my eyes removed, and as I was, li you know, literally laying there healing yeah. externally, I figured I'll work on my internal baggage, and yeah. that's where the book came from. Well, I love that you did that because I think a lot of people are, I don't know why, it, it seems to be changing a little bit, but for so long, people were putting on like a front all mm -hmm. the time. Like everything is fine. And it's like, no, we're all all similar. Mm. We all have struggles. Why not share them and help us get through it to the other side? Because it's a sign of weakness. Mm. That's what people think, yeah. at least. So when you say, oh, I'm going through, I'm struggling, I'm having a hard time, you know, it's not, you don't always feel safe. Right. Now you have, it's all these different resources. You can say, I'm having a hard time, I need help. Support me. Right, <laughs> right. Right. And, you know, there's more agencies it's that's true. willing to support you now or yeah. able, they're available to. Right, right, which is so important too. Um, let's talk about your comedy. Let's do it. <laughs> You're so funny. Thank you. You have a show tomorrow night, City Winery, but talk about like what has inspired your comedy lately. So, girl, <laughs> it's a lot of things. Yeah. But, you know, lately I've been talking about dating, talking mm. about letting go of your emotional baggage, therapy, being very honest about mm. it. See, I've subscribed to something called PCP. That is not the drugs. Okay. That's Tell not the drugs. It, it's not Tell the drugs. Slow down. <laughs> PCP, prayer, couch, and prescription. Ah. And see, here's the thing. We can pray all day. The words say, mm -hmm. you know, faith without works is dead. But mm -hmm. listen, I changed it. Mm. Uh, <laughs> prayer without works is dead, which you can pray all day, right? Right, right? But if you don't get on the couch, if you need therapy, if you need a counselor, yeah. do it. So prayer, couch, and sometimes we need a prescription. So yeah. I've been very candid and very open yeah. about what's going on in my life. And, you know, I like I said, through the pandemic, a lot of us didn't think we were going to make it. No. Thank God I had the support of my family. Yeah. You know, as a touring comedian, you're at home all of a sudden can't go outside. Right. It's a struggle. It is. Everything that you knew was kind of taken away. And I, I love that you say there are many things that help you feel whole, if you will, because yep. sometimes it's not it's not a one-stop shop. And I've learned anything, it's that you need a little bit from a few different things to feel whole. Absolutely. And Baggage Claim is my show tomorrow mm. at City Winery. And Baggage Claim is a safe destination for women and men to claim, heal, and release from any emotional baggage that we all carry. Uh -huh. And laugh at it. Right. That's the important thing. Life is too short to not laugh at what you're going through. I was going to say, it's a funny, it's funny show, but it's also a spiritual healing Absolutely. show. Absolutely. We're yeah. going to laugh, we're going to cry, we're going to celebrate um. being happy, whole, and healed. And sis, let me tell you, yeah. you know, I, I just put it all out there. I carry my own baggage. And a lot of, and what I found out is when I started talking about my baggage, it gave people the courage to talk about yes. their baggage. Yes. That's what it's all about. It is. I'm a child molestation survivor. Yeah. Mm. I lost my dream job as a national syndicated talk show host. Mm -hmm. I was in a long-term relationship that, <laughs> that oh, did not materialize that's, into that's marriage. Her next book. That's I her know. Next book. Yeah. A long relationship that did yeah. not materialize into marriage. But guess what? I'm still here. You're still here. I'm still standing. You're not just still here. You're thriving. Thriving and celebrating and look good. Yes. Let's <laughs> say it again. Says, thriving yes. and celebrating mm, and looking look good. good. Okay, yes, ma'am. I was looking on the interwebs. Oh, God. I, here we go. Found, what you got? You know, what you I see? have something for you. And I found these, like, new rules for dating and... 2023. Which so I wanted to ask you about them. Let's see what it. you think. Okay, so the first one is they say to stop romanticizing the bare minimum. So basically, mm. like, stop saying it, it's going to work out. He's good at lowering your standards, I guess. Should we lower our standards? No. <laughs> I think you should keep your standards wherever you want them to be. Why would you lower your standards? Why would you shrink yourself or dim your light to make someone else feel comfortable? Yeah. If you don't want, if you want a man with a job, or a career, mm. get a man with a job or a career, or same for the guys. Right. Don't settle just because you are lonely. I think yeah. that's what we do. Right. A lot of people do that. They don't want to be alone, yeah. so you make, you know, oh, it's okay. No, don't make excuses for what they don't have. Get what you want. Right. If you like yourself, you'll never be alone. That, uh, okay. Hi, that's this, a word, there we go. Come right. on. The second one is Let's never let it. someone tell you they don't want to be with you twice. 
Yes, ma'am. That's a big one for That's me. That's a big one. Yeah. You don't have to keep telling me that I'm not the girl for you. Right. You do not. Yeah. And guess what? I'm not going to keep telling you you're not the guy for me. Mm. So what you do is just, okay, this is not working. We can be friends, move on. Why do you have to get, yeah. keep getting kicked in the face over and over again before you know I it's know. a shoe on my face? I know. <laughs> me a lot in my 20s. I, but, okay, this next one, I don't, I don't know if you're on them, but they say dating apps suck. They do. do they? What I've okay, been told <laughs> by a lot of my friends yeah. who are in the dating industry, like professionals sure. and those who are on the apps, that most people on the apps are married. Like, mm. you know, I'm kind of somebody, oh, Kara. I'm somebody. I can't be on the dating yeah. apps for real. And listen, when I'm on the app, do you know people say, are you the real Kiana Dancy? You say the. I'm like, I the. am. Like, I'm looking for somebody just like you yeah. are. But people are not it's, they're not so friendly when you're almost famous or kind of famous. Yeah, you need to get on Raya for the famous people. Girl, do, you can you get me on Raya? I don't know. I can try. Listen, it's a waiting <laughs> list. I've been on Raya's <laughs> waiting list for a year and a half. Let me make a call. Please Let me like make a call. call. <laughs> <laughs> the famous right. people are on Raya. Okay. Right. Yes, okay. And make a call to see her tomorrow at City Winery. 8 o'clock is your show. 8 p.m. Doors yes. open at 6 30. This All is right. going to be a phenomenal show. We're going to laugh. We're going to cry. We're going to celebrate. Men and women are welcome in the past. My women's empowerment tea and brunch yeah. have only been for women. This time, bring everybody. Everybody. Grandmamas, aunties, yeah. side chicks, your side dudes. <laughs> Find them on an app. Find them on an app. First care. day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, Brad. All this laughing has worked up our appetite. So Ooh. thank you for being here. Can I eat?